Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, the Old Coot Camper Channel. I'm Jim, and today I'm gonna to show you how I hook up my weight distribution hitch on my Tab 400 by New Camp. So let's get started with that. All right, so there are essentially three pieces to a weight distribution hitch, and obviously the first is the hitch in the ball mount. This is mine, I have a Fastway E2 hitch rated for 400 to 600 pounds of tongue weight. The reason that is so big is because my 2019 Tab 400 has a tongue weight of 465 pounds. Even though that is a relatively small camper, the tongue weight on there is pretty high for that. Now, the one thing I want you to notice, there are a number of adjustments on here. One is to adjust the height, you can see that. The other thing, and it's a little bit hard to see in the video, I think, is that this ball right here has an adjustment underneath. I don't know if you can see that bolt right there that comes out from underneath. Well, behind that bolt are washers. And those washers adjust the tilt of your hitch. And that is what allows you to get tension on your truck to push the front end down and get it more level. Now, here's the interesting thing you can see maybe that this is not 90 degrees. So there is a little bit of a downward angle on that. And that's part of the adjustment you need to make in order to get your weight distribution hitch set appropriately. So the other piece of equipment that we have are the trunnion bars. This is a trunnion style weight distribution hitch. You have a chain style as well. These are solid bars. They weigh, I don't know, I would guess they're around 25 pounds a piece, so they are not light. They fit into this receiver here, and then they rest on this friction bar. And the combination of those things allow downward pressure on the front of your tow vehicle in order to get your tow vehicle level when you're towing. So what you see right here is the mounting bracket. First of all, because the tongue weight on the Tab 400 is 465 pounds, I had to go with the 400 to 600 pound version of the weight distribution hitch. And the bigger the, the weight distribution hitch, the farther back you have to have the mounting bracket. Well, that's a problem because as you can see, the mounting bracket went above the frame right here. And that meant my tub did not fit appropriately, or in other words, I couldn't put the mounting brackets on without doing something with the tub. What I ended up having to do, I don't know if you can see this, these are aluminum square pipes. I had to actually raise the tub in order for the mounting brackets to fit. The other thing, quite frankly, is at the time, this was back in 2019, New Camp was not giving a lot of advice on weight distribution hitches. And you'll notice that this is a bolt-on distribution hitch. Well, later they came out and said, probably not the best idea for a Tab 400. And the reason is if you look at the frame, see how this is indented here? It's not a full solid frame. It's called a C-channel frame. And of course, it's lighter which they needed to do, of course, given the, the weight on the front, but it's also not as sturdy. And so there's a concern that putting a bolt through there can actually weaken the strength of your tongue, so they don't recommend it. Um, there are some metal clamps here, so I'm hoping that that's okay. I haven't had any issues with it. The other thing, when I raise my tub, the pipe or the, the tube for the propane tank was so short that I actually had to buy a new one. So anyway, those are the parts of the weight distribution hitch. Let me show you how to get this bad boy set up. It's not necessarily that easy. So, as most of you know, the most difficult thing of hitching, maybe, when you're alone, is getting your hitch lined up with your receiver. So let's see if I got that right. Okay, so not surprisingly, it's not perfect. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this, let that weight go down, 
and I'm just gonna start the car up, tow vehicle up, and uh, see if I can't pop that into place by putting it in neutral or maybe um, pulling forward just a hair. Let's see if this works. All right, clearly popping that into neutral didn't work for me. So I'm gonna pull forward just a hair. In. Yes, it did. So now we are locked and loaded. With that, I can put my pin through. Now, the first thing you have to do is, is get your trunnion bars on. This is not so easy either. All right, so the way these slide in, get it on an angle, get this perpendicular and then it just slides in and you move it back. I'm gonna get the other one as well. So now if you think you're done and you can simply slide that on, you'll notice that that is not the case. So what you have to do is you have to re-raise your hitch with it attached so you can get this to release pressure so you can actually lift this up and get it over this. There's actually a tool you can use to do that and I'll show you how that is, or how that works. So as I'm raising this, pressure is being exerted on the top as I'm raising it, but it's gonna allow me to lift this bar into place. Here's the handy dandy little tool that comes with that. And you can see, put that curve in there and then pop that baby on, just like that. Do not want to get your fingers in there. That is for sure. Then you've got this L shape. Piece of equipment that goes in there with the cotter pin and your set. Same thing on the other side. That one went in a little easier for some reason. The passenger side always goes in easier than the driver's side. I think that, and it's been that way since day one, I actually think that there might be a bend somewhere in the frame or it's not even it's been that way since I got it um, but those actually should go on equally not uh, not where I have to use the tool on one and not on the other the first thing you got to do when you take off your weight distribution hitches as you might imagine is you've got to raise your hitch quite a bit again to take the pressure off the back end Oh. 
All right, that's off now. Release these. Drop this a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. Once again, I had a, a significant issue unhitching, and uh, seems to be a lot of pressure on that ball the way that uh, hitch is angled. But I was able to get it off. There was a lot of pressure on that ball, and it really popped off once the pressure was released. So I'm gonna to have to think about that, but uh, I'm gonna have myself uh, brew husky, uh, relax for a bit before I check out the rest of the campground. Cheers, everyone.